Suki Hanna responds to criticism for twerking on all fours at the 2023 MTV VMAs. First time at VMAs, they knew who I was when they invited me. So guys, this is the video. Let's look. This is the VMAs, you see the photographer there, clearly getting involved. How she's spreading Nash like that? All fours, arch back, jiggle back, everything. Yeah? Pushing back. Look at it, another angle. The photographer's enjoying, boy. So good, we have to we have to play it back twice. Now, this is the VMAs, guys. This is an award ceremony. Like, this is the VMAs. This is MTV. And first time at the VMAs, they knew who I was when they invited me. She backs it. Look, look what someone says. Too many outdoor shoes, being on the Cabota Cup. Then she comes at her. Girl, you be sleeping with Flavor Flav. You ain't scared of nothing. One thing about Sukiana, she owns who she is. And she is ratchet, she is hood, she is, she is Shaniqua. Good cat, AKA Miss Switch, cause he just ate my ass. These girls love to get their back eat out. Man them, I know the back of the bunda sweet, but don't die for Nash, don't die for it. Wanna switch, period. Now I'm eating him. Now these American girls obsessed with eating man's back eat. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but these girls, what do you mean eating the ass? Pause, pause, big Y for that, big Y. Eat a nigga ass, eat a nigga ass. Coochie stretch. I'm trying to get my coochie stretch and eat a nigga ass. Eat a nigga ass, we be eating niggas ass. So this clip is from a recent trip to London. This is actually by Buckingham Palace. Look at the Karens, look at the Margarets, look how disgusted she looks. They, once again, they're rapping about eating niggas ass. I'm trying to get my coochie scratch. Look at Margaret, look at Dorothy, look at Ethel. They can't believe what they're seeing. Today in London, period. Baby, I'm trying to get this coochie scratch. Man, RIP Lizzie, man. She ain't die for this. So you can clearly see the static that she's giving out. She does not play when it comes to it. She's very loud, she's very outspoken, she's very raw. She's raw, she's X-rated. Look at the booty all popping out. And she is what they're really pushing now in the new media. She and Me and my sister, we got something to say. Cause now y'all, that's what's up. We finna take over the world. We finna be performing at the BET Awards, hmm. the Oscars, hmm. Planet Fitness, Popeyes. Nah, hell no. This ratchet did not just say she's performing at Popeyes. As in Popeye's chicken? I swear a pair of hood. Mm -hmm. And they give me free play of B pills at the motherfucker, we gonna get them playing. I mean, people used to think little Kim and Foxy Brown were outspoken and raw. But these women are rapping about Plant Parenthood, performing outside Plant Parenthood and popping a plan B. They're talking about rapping outside the damn abortion clinic and contraception centre. These honey Honey packets. Honey packets. And um, you said bundles. 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 To our feet. Condoms, because we can't be raw dogging these niggas this year. We're not getting pregnant. We're not catching no STDs. I'm not this year. Not no this year. And look how lightly they're making jokes about catching sexual transmitted diseases. She's like, we ain't catching no sexual, tra sexual transmitted diseases this year. Nah, this year. What are you telling me? Last year you was dosed up. What are you telling me? You had that dose. The virus. Not I'm not going to no more doctors for your ass, nigga. And I'm not having no much more kids because I have three kids. Listen to how she's talking and she's already got three kids. Listen, this new generation of, of kids with mothers that are OF and cam girls and yeah, you guys are going to need some serious therapy. Like, I'm not even lying. Some of you guys are probably going to shoot up the school. I'm keeping it real. Group chat's going to roast No more these defections. No more. None of Suki. Sexy Red, Suki Rana. Hood rats, what a title, what cover art. This is what the industry are pushing. This is what they want on the young girls. I'm gonna be honest, the most romantic thing somebody did for me, it was my first boyfriend. I was just in high school, he was a little older than me, and it was Valentine's Day. I'll never forget. He robbed somebody and gave me the money and gave me the bill he stole, and it was just so sweet. Cause so guys, Sexy Red is just telling us that when she was in school, she was dating an older man. Trust me, it's a lot older man. This is what we all speak about, this girl dating older man in school. But anyway, and what was romantic? Him robbing somebody, stealing from somebody, harming somebody in order to give her a gift. Nah, no, these girls are tapped, seriously. He was out of breath and stuff. He's like, here, I just got this for you. I was like, oh, so sweet. Man, don't be stealing for girl. That's mad. You're going to end up winding yourself in the bin, go in jail, and guess what? 
That girl ain't going to be waiting for you. She's going to be getting her back blown out. <laughs> bro, don't be stupid, bro. Trust me. A lot of money in jail now pissed. Thank you, because nobody never did nothing like that for me. He stole from me, so I'm like, oh, you did that for me, really? Look, look at her gram. she got 2.2 million followers. She's not even a nobody. Shout out to my boy Dom Presidential. Go check out his stuff, because like Dom told me about it. Like, it must be like five years ago. I even said to him, bro, you kind of missed out on this sexy red thing, because you're always pulling up. You're always letting me know about these ratchet-ass females. He loves them. What she got? She calls herself the good cats and the coochie girls. Those, those are her fans. Yeah, back to the infamous clip that was doing that was going viral. Look at her all sprawl out. I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But like, this isn't. I hate to see my sisters doing this. There was a time when black women would never be doing this stuff. Literally, we, they would never be associated with this type of stuff, you know. But now it's like, I know we live in a we live in a world run out. The more outrageous you can be. That's why I said we thought Kim, little Kim, was raw. We fought Trina, Foxy Brown, women, those women, man, those women like nuns compared to these women. Everything is so overly sexualized. And guess what? Guess who had something to say about her? Situation one time. I don't condone my sister's content. I don't support my sister's content. I will not make excuses for my sister's content. I'm simply saying that if the queen is interested in making a transformation in her agenda i am willing to aid her in that work of course the prince of pa i mean the simp of pan-africanism dr umar johnson was going to weigh in on this umar dr umar i know what you're doing bro you think you're slick but i see what you're doing bro Furthermore, how's the school going? You're always talking, but how's the school going? That's what I want to know. I am not going to cancel her because some of you hypocrites have overlooked popular people in our community who have done worse than Suki Hana. Let me say this again, because I want you to understand, overstand, and understand me right now. I want you to understand overstand and understand what i'm saying brothers and sisters i do not condone my sister sukihana's content i do not support my sister sukihana's content i will not make excuses for my sister sukihana's content but the sister has as much right to make a mistake and then correct it as you and i Oh, stop the cap, Dr. Umar. Correct it. You think she wants to correct it? She doesn't want to correct her behavior. This is who she is. She's rapping about eating a nigga's ass, eating a nigga's ass. Like, she was talking about, she walking in the street talking about, I need to get my cooch scratched. Dr. Umar, she's not trying to change. And out of all people, it's not going to be you to change her. You do. And many of you who want to cancel her outright have overlooked evil and wrongdoing in the black community that has been worse than what she is doing. See, when men start doing this, refusing to call out a woman because of what men may do, you know, rappers and whatever, not entertainers is, we know exactly what you're doing, Dr. Umar. You think you're slick, <laughs> but it's bait, it's too bait. How many people we got who have taken the life of other people and we still celebrate them right now how many in our community have been accused and even have been proven to be pedophiles and we overlooked their behavior told you and there it is make it making comparisons ain't nobody overlooking any pedos behavior so if that's what you guys were doing over there then you need to look yourself in the mirror because ain't nobody out here if anyone's touching kids yo we're gonna bun that guy Hey, Dr. Uma, allow the cap. Because they are celebrities. How many have robbed and stolen and killed and abused elders and women and you overlook their wrong? So all I'm saying, don't be a hypocrite when it comes to the black woman. Black women, don't you get tired of men like this? They literally do everything in your name. The black woman this, the black woman that. But these really are the men that actually don't produce anything tangible for the black women. 
Man, I'm just tired of men like this, seriously. When you have overlooked the sins of black men, all I'm saying is don't be a hypocrite when it comes to black women. Man, let's just let's let's take let's take a, a shot of Henny every time he says black woman. For every black woman Dr. Uma says, take a shot of Henny. I promise you, by the time this video's finished, you're finna go impregnate a black woman right now. When you have overlooked the sins of black men, there are black men who have said and done some of the same things Suki Hana has said and done, and they have not been canceled. All I'm saying is be honest in your criticism. Be balanced in your condemnation. All I'm saying is don't have one set of standards for elite celebrities and a completely separate set of standards for upcoming celebrities. That's all I'm saying, brothers and sisters. That's all I'm saying. When I hear the word cancel her, if that's what you want to do, so be it. But why are you not canceling others who have done as much as her and worse? Oh, not you, Umar. It can't be Dr. Umar telling people people what they should cancel. Like, allow it, Dr. Umar. As soon as you get a bee in your bonnet, you be over there trying to get shit canceled too. So, yes, people might want to cancel, but guess what? They got good reason to. They're trying to protect their daughters. Why aren't you trying to cancel those who have done as much as her? Or and this is what it was all about. Dr. Umar, you think you're slick. Look at him with Sukiyana. And look how she's going to walk all black. Look at his smile on his face. You dirty ass. Hey, listen, Dr. Umar. You think you're slick, but man saw this coming from a mile away. A mile away. You're just trying to clap cheeks. That's all he wanted to do. And these were the cheeks she's trying to clap. These are the cheeks she's trying to clap. Look at the video. Look at the aesthetic. Girls talking and twerking. This is this is when what when white people think of black people and it this is what they be thinking. Let's look at the lyrics of eating. Look at the it's a lot of swearing, but here we go. Bitch is sookie with the good cat, good mother cat. Your hoes know my fucking name, bitch. You know my motherfucking name, ho. Stop playing with me, bitch, Suki. I take your nigga, put this pussy on his tongue. On his tongue, deep throat and dick. I got coming on my lungs and my lungs. Pause, pause. Big Y, big Y for that. But this is the lyrics of one of our smash it songs, Eating. Uh, and you know he chew this ass. Don't be dumb, don't be dumb. I got niggas trying to pay to eat this pussy out my thong. Wow, cause I'm trifling. 40 Glock on the nightstand. Roll up his backwood before he put that pipe in. Fuck me, nigga. Bitch, I'm just busting jugs in the Hellcat skirt in the back seat, getting fucked from the back, from the back. Don't be scared, nigga. You know I got that good cat. No, I got that good cat. You better break a bitch off, Kit Kat, Kit Kat. I just want that big dick esophagus. He just popped a perk. 30, you got that perky dick. And my rent due, bitch, you know I'm taking dick. That made me laugh. I'm hot in the tail, tell, I'm selling tell. Bitch, I'm drunk as hell, hell, where is the Rotel dip? I need me some Rotel dick, I need some motherfucking Rotel dick. Bitch, you know I'm strapped with a stick, doo doo. Every Glock I got, got a switch. Bitch, stop the car, I got a piss, I got a piss hole. He just ate my ass, you wanna switch? This, <laughs> these are her lyrics. These are her lyrics. This is what's being pushed. This is Sukiana. This is what's being pushed. Did you hear the last bit? My coochie juice make his dress. That's why he smell like cat. You can block my number, but he still gon' eat my ass. He just paid for my titties. That's why you bitches are mad. I suck dick like a champion when you put the perk in my ass. Throw that ass, you know you a hoe. Open down on that booty, gon' go. I'm turkey on your baby dad. You finna lick my booty hoe. I'm looking sexy. I'm looking fine. A broke boy can wait. We've come to the end of the video. My name is China. I am the Mandem's voice. If you like the video, then please like the video, drop some comments, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bells, and subscribe to our membership. We've got three different tiers.